Should you buy or skip Apple AirTags? Let's talk about whether I think you should spend your money on them. In case you've never seen or heard of an AirTag before, this simple looking token sized device is actually a key finder designed for Apple users. When put in a bag or attached to your keys, you instantly know where your item is at all times via the Find My app as long as the AirTag is powered. It's become one of Apple's most popular accessories and at just $29 a pop or $99 for a four pack, it's also one of the company's more affordable products. The first reason I would buy an Apple AirTag is that it's a breeze to set up. From getting it out of the package to syncing it with your iPhone, it's like maybe a two minute process total. Speaking from experience, the easy setup definitely helps make it a little bit almost addictive to put AirTags on everything you own. You get to manage each AirTags label and even assign it a little icon like keys or a backpack that's relevant to the item it's tied to. There are a dozen so preset labels that you can change and adapt so you're never confused about what you're actually looking for. And this one might seem obvious, but if you're someone who tends to misplace things, there's a lot an AirTag can do for you. I personally self-identify as someone who loses things and I'm not ashamed of it, but having precision finding means that I'm always guided right to the object's location. For me, this means that I can track my dog down in the rare instance he's wandered beyond my backyard. It means that I never have to guess where I left my wallet or whether my stowed suitcase made it with me to my connecting flight. Pretty much without fail, when you wanna be brought to your item, precision finding won't just point you in the right direction, but it will lead you there with distance markers right down to the foot. I would also buy AirTags because of the sheer amount of accessories that are out there to make AirTags more practical for your needs. Although it's kind of annoying that the AirTag doesn't have a built-in keychain loop, you can get compatible keychains for like three or four dollars a pop on Amazon. I mainly use this style for my luggage, but there's also waterproof versions worth considering that are good for outdoor conditions or even just the accidental splash. For more discreet solutions, there are wallet cards like these that keep your AirTag stowed conveniently, as well as this rugged mount that lets you securely attach an AirTag to an important bag without being so glaringly obvious that there's a tracker there. If you're someone who cannot stand replacing batteries, AirTags might not be right for you. Here's the thing, when they're in standby, the battery actually lasts a very long time, up to one year. But if you're pinging your AirTag often, forcing it to play the locating sound, I found that it cuts down how long the non-rechargeable batteries last. There have been times when I'm traveling and constantly checking in on my bags, only to find that the battery of one of them has died. Now I always check my AirTag's battery level before a trip and find my sense notifications when the battery is low. Because of that, I think it would be a smart move to stock up on lithium three volt coin batteries if you're gonna use AirTags. Non-Apple users will want to avoid AirTags too. You need an iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch to pair the AirTag for the first setup and there's just no getting around that. Similarly, for all the precision finding features, you need one of these Apple devices to actually track your AirTags down. Luckily, if you are an Android user, there are plenty of solid alternatives. Chipolo and Tile are two key finder brands with third-party apps for tagging your item. Samsung's Galaxy Smart Tag is also comparable to an AirTag. Now, if you're someone who is wary of tracking technology, it'll be really hard to convince you to buy an AirTag. Some of these concerns are definitely valid, especially at the launch, there were reports of stalking tied to AirTags, but Apple has introduced some safety measures. For example, you'll be notified if an AirTag that isn't yours is following you and give you the option to play a sound so that you can find it. That said, whether or not you're buying an AirTag, it's worth familiarizing yourself with how AirTag privacy features work. For Apple users who could use help keeping track of their things, AirTags are totally worth buying. They've come in handy for me plenty over the years, which is why I personally keep buying them and even often buy them as gifts for others. That said, they go on sale quite a lot on Amazon, so I would recommend waiting until you see markdowns. You definitely don't need to be paying full price. Better yet, put some of those savings towards some accessories. I've linked the ones that I've shown in this video down below. Of course, if you're pained by the idea of replacing batteries, or you've come to this video not realizing that AirTags don't play nice with your Android phone, Apple's trackers probably aren't right for you. But let me know whether you'd buy or skip AirTags in the comments of this video, and you might as well subscribe to our channel while you're here. We're also everywhere on social at Tom's Guide, and you can find me at Kate Kozich. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.